morning everybody. Good morning from Belgium actually. Yes, we are currently docked up in Zabruge mm -hmm. uh, and we are going to get a shuttle down to Bruges. Now we've not booked this shuttle directly with MSC because no. it didn't seem worth it. I think it was roughly 50 euros each for their shuttle down. Now um, we've booked it online with a company, I'll put it on the screen, I can't remember off the yeah. top of my head what the company's called, but we've paid roughly like 17 a and a half pounds, a yeah, <laughs> we paid roughly 17 and a half pounds for a prepaid shuttle which you get from just outside the port, so what we've got to do is get the free port shuttle, drops you outside because you can't walk through the and port, then, yeah. and then we jump on the bus, drops off somewhere in Bruges, and then vice versa on the way back. Bruges has got the Christmas markets on. Now it's not as big as the ones that if you'd watch the Hamburg video, it's not as big as Hamburg. No. Nope. Which is supposed to be like a really nice one. Yep. And we've had no breakfast because we're hoping for like some Belgian waffles maybe, some so like the Belgian fries. Yeah. The supposed to have like the thick cut frites. I think they're cooked in beef dripping yeah, as well. Yeah, that's right. So as I'm, well, so. so I'm really, really looking forward to them. Yes. So yeah, we'll just uh, bring you along and come check out like a Christmas market in Bruges and Bruges itself. Okay, so the free shuttle buzz is these ones. It says on the front, free shuttle to gate with a red sign. I will show that now. That took two minutes, a very slow two minutes. There's the Venturosa. The Ventura is next to it as well, and we're here. So literally, they just don't allow you to walk in the port. That's all it says. Right, so when we dock up somewhere, I do always like once we get off the ship, it's not always possible depending on where it docks up, but I just like having a nice look at the ship. So there's I was there docked up, the MSC Virtuosi, and then behind it there is the P and O Ventura there. Right, so Kev's just asking the very nice lady. We have to go back over here. We've got to go back over there. Back. We've got to go print off some paper tickets. Oof. Even even though I've, there's a QR on the email, we've got to print off paper tickets. So let's, she's going in 15 minutes, so let's. Oh, and then we've got to get on that bus. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, so, so it's the right bus, but we need tickets. Yeah, we need paper tickets. For some reason, we need paper right. tickets in 2022. 20, and then we might get time to see some of Bruges, hopefully. <sighs> We've got to find some blue kiosks or some blue flags or something. <laughs> right, we'll go hurry up. Go, go, go. We've got to come to here and this guy gives think, us a ticket. We think. We think so. We think. Hopefully you'll see us on the coach right. in five minutes. Or well, she goes in 20 10, 15. Yeah, 20 euros, please. Two tickets, got a map, photo of the, the times for returning. So, uh, yeah, this is where you have to come, the little blue minibus. Yeah, we're now waiting Got here. Instructions to wait till further notice. I'm guessing the other one might be full, and then we're getting on the next one. But yeah. we'll be there soon. Okay, so this was the cruise terminal. When you come out, turn left to those flags just down there, and then go right. And then go left. Don't go right. <laughs> no. Don't. Nobody goes right. It's all lefts. Okay, it's a left. Oh no, actually left, then a right, but then a left, then a left, and then another left to the buzzies. Yeah. I don't know, just don't do what we do because we'll probably send you somewhere else. Brussels. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. So we thought we could add a bit of luxury with the reclining chairs, but Kev's is uh, broke. It does come up. <laughs> but. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. Simple buzz journey. Not sure how long it took, to be honest with you, but we forgot to look. Maybe 15 minutes? <laughs> yeah, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah max. Not long at all. No, oh, shall we cross it here? Yeah. Uh, pretty simple, it drops you off in, looks like the coach stop, the bus stop. As always, put a pin in it on Google, <laughs> save the location so you don't get lost, because that's where it'll pick you back up. Uh, pick up times are every half an hour after um, a certain time. I've got a picture, I'll put them on screen just in case. It's with yeah. Cruise Express. We booked it with another firm, like we said, 
but you can just do it on the day if you want. So uh, they did have a sign up uh, to just say that there is a lot of road works at the moment so it might pick you up later than the times that are on there. So just be careful because when obviously it's not booked through MSC Direct <laughs> yeah. if you are late or anything. I can't see the ship waiting. No. But um, we're really lucky with the weather again, we keep saying this. I mean it is cold and I've left me gloves in the cabin and I hate cold hands so damn but uh, it's dry and the sun is yeah. shining so can't so, say better than that it's about quarter to ten the market yeah. doesn't open till 11 so first things first there's one Starbucks at the train station we're gonna go get a drink and hopefully get us our mug and then we just got that out of the way then and then we yes. can get on to the because if, if we're running a bit late at the market yeah. we haven't got to start sprinting and sweating everywhere in, in a wool yet we can see him through the window hopefully it's not just Bruges ones and it's Belgian ones. It looks like it is. Yeah, Belgium. Belgium. There we go. Got the cup. We had a quick uh, hot drink as well. May as well have done while we were there. A very expensive hot drink. Yeah, Starbucks are like so expensive. Like this was all the, the places we've been. Most yeah. expensive ones. They like a gra I know a grande. Stacey's had a Stroop waffle latte. Which would have been more appropriate if I had one when we were in Amsterdam, but oh well. <laughs> but a grande one of those, is it, no, what's it all? Venti. Venti. A Venti yeah. one of them was seven euros. And we, we moaned about uh, Hamburg prices when we were in there, and these are even more expensive. No. Hopefully, but, this is the last one we'll be having now. Yeah, because we're not coming back here anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to head over to the market. It's done to open till 11, so we've got time to wander over without rushing. It's at. Is it the Grotte Market Square by the looks of it? There's two. I think the Grotte, Grotte, G O T R E, I think it was. Oh. Uh, however, you pronounce that. That looks like it's the main one. So we're going to head over that way now. Hopefully, get there for when it opens. Oh, here, look. So as we walk past, this was like just a Christmas market kind of advertisement. So this is the one we're going to. There's also a second smaller one, it looks like, the Simon one. But then, if you're here at night, they've also got what they're calling Winter Glow. So this trail of like winter lights that you can go on. I don't know if they're doing bus tours of it, but you could also uh, do that if you're here at night. Okay, have you not read the dates on there? It doesn't start till next week. I can see him. I can see him. They're here. Don't, don't, don't try and trick me. Oh, okay. So we're just walking in now and you can see this massively striking church steeple? Is that what the cathedral steeple, whatever they're called, they're just right there. Right, I'm gonna butcher this. So in a minute. That's the name. And I'm gonna go for Heilige Magdal Kirk. Let's see what Google says. Heilige Magdalena Kirk. So if that picked up, I wasn't too far off. So we've just actually Googled like, because we were like, what is the official language of Belgium? And they actually speak a mixture of French, Dutch and German. So yeah, a very multilingual country. And they obviously speak very good English as well. It, they didn't Starbucks anyway. Yeah, it says Dutch brackets Flemish. I don't know if that's a different... Flemish. Flemish, oh. like phlegm in your throat. I don't know if that's like a different category of Dutch but that's what Google says so already we really like these like old we'd call them like a terraced house like you know there's no gaps in between like it's just all old nice old houses but you do have to be careful because the so far the streets and the uh, roads are a bit cobbled down here so we are walking a bit uh, a bit wonky but uh, Stacey was saying it's a bit too nice for like a Roy's Rolls, you know, because it's a bit like Corrie-ish. Yeah, we were walking down Kevin's like, a bit like Corrie ish street, I'm like, mm, not really. I, I, bet, um, I bet it's a nice shot like in the snow, like when all like the snow's like on the cobbles and then like you've got that building in the background. Okay, so it turns out there's two cathedrals that look very similar, okay? So there's the one we butchered the name of, and this one says it's called St. Salvatore's Cathedral. So there's two that look very similar. Obviously we were far away, that's what we're gonna say. But uh, they both look, you know, from a distance, the, the, the spires look the same. I was gonna say, the one that we did butcher the name of might have been this one. 
We think it was the actual one. There's two that look the same anyway. And when that's, you're looking on Google Maps. That's all you need now. Yeah. Do you want to go in? Yeah, if you want to. Let's yeah. go see what it looks like inside. This is the first on a church or a cathedral, whatever you want to call it. It's got electric doors. Never seen those before. but if you can hear the music behind it's not that they're really off key it looks like and sounds like they're maybe tuning in the organs is that the right word Something terminology like looks like they're getting the musical instruments ready they are doing some like construction work just outside there and then there was some inside but just absolutely beautiful inside we all we always like going visit like some really nice cathedrals and just going inside don't we yeah it's just nice to see something that's a bit different than shops so i've been dragged into a christmas shop <laughs> it's so nice in here though i, I love like the um, the toy soldiers and the, the little nutcrackers the nutcrackers yeah toy soldiers yeah the nutcrackers they are aren't they really yeah basically that and i'm really into it at the moment i've just seen this really nice pink one how cute is that? It's like 14.95. Is he classed as a gnome? It's like a gnome, yeah, a that's so like cute. Something. And then he got like a massive one there. So I don't know if this is like a pop-up Christmas shop or if it's here all year round. No, I don't but think everything it. seems like reasonably yeah. reasonably priced, like these little snowmen. Okay. Oh. Four euros. Now, if you'd have watched the Hamburg Christmas market in that very expensive shop, that'd have been like 30 euros. Probably be more than that. Probably more, yeah. But this is a good thing about cruises, though. There's no weight limit. You can buy all this crap and not have to worry about taking it back on a plane. Not because we've gone from Southampton, yeah. so... So, you know, you can buy as much of this Christmassy mush as your heart desires. I think, like... We're converting Kev a little bit. No, not really. Like, we're normally a little bit of um, he's a bit of a Grinch at Christmas now. He's just over there, and I heard Stacy, Stacy. I was like, what? And he's like, look at this. I was more, I, I was more on about the price. <laughs> no, you were. You were like, look at that, it's too nice. No, it's I didn't. A little Santa. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. <laughs> So some of this stuff is really well priced, like these bark little ornaments, well not little, you know, the hand size, they're only 195. You know, some of it's a bit tatty, but you know, you've got like Is that a sheep? Merry Christmas sheep. 1095. That's more of like the kind of stuff like you would see on like the Christmas market stalls, but I like the ice skating boot. That's cute, how much is that one? Uh, 9.95. Yeah, I just noticed this one actually. Yeah. This one's 1.95. But the only problem is we've got to carry it back on the coach, so don't get too much. <laughs> okay, so we've come across the smaller market first. This is the Simon Steven Plain Market. It's not 100% open yet, so it's that bit there and that bit there. But they've both got nice seating areas. We've already seen like a summit with a waffle on the outside that's not open yet so we're waiting for that open we were just both saying as we were walking through like we're so like we really love bruges so far it's so nice it just looks beautiful yeah. even more beautiful at christmas so not everywhere's quite open yet oh look at the dog get him some waffles um so we're just gonna head up to the other one first because we might as well go to the bigger one first oh but here's the waffle guy oh you can see the balls of waffles at the back oh there's the waffles there I think that might be like 48% waffle by the end of this day's finished. Here's the Balfrey of Bruges. It's just going off at the moment. But we're now at the main market. A lot more stuff seems open. Let's go have a look. So already we've got slippers and hats. There you go, Stace. You can get a hat because you forgot your hat. And your hat. No, I've got my hat. That's in my bag. Oh. I just didn't want to mess my hair up, so uh, I just put my hood up. Got you. <laughs> There's also an inside section of it. Looks like my, that might be more food related. 
So we'll go around the outside and have a little look. Oh, so we use some like the olive wood kind of stuff. Got the alcohol ones as well. Looks like they've got champagnes and gins, maybe. Oh, and then there's a, like a, a Christmas ornament one. Oh, which offers free personalization. Oh, and I can already say it's a lot cheaper than that one in Hamburg. So that looks like that's about it on the exterior of the market. They all look like they're in these shipping containers, so at least everything matches. It's not as wooden and as kind of homely kind of as the Hamburg ones, but it's all very nice. I can smell stuff already. So you've got bars. Now we did notice at the other one that they were doing a little marquee souvenir mug. Not sure if these are yet, but if they are, we will let you know. What the heck is that? Oh. That's some kind of potato cheese madness. Oh, there's one that's cooked. Oh, oh they've got racolette. So if you want some freshly melted racolette on your sandwich, you can have it there. Is this all nugget? Whoa. That's some big nugget. I just heard you got some chocolate dip waffle sticks. So I've got all different toppings on. Don't know if you can make your own. Ooh. Five euros, not too bad. Oh, five euros, that's quite good. Stacey will probably end up having one of them because she likes anything dipped in chocolate. <laughs> Massive hot, hot dogs, bratwurst, whatever you want to call them. Eight euros, that's not bad because that is massive. Ooh, cooked onions as well. Definitely be having one of them because I've had no breakfast yet. Oh, that's not bad. Hot nutty chocolate, three euros. We've got hot mulled wine for four euros, apple cider for five. That's really cheap actually. And then we've got some sugared nuts there. Oh, oh popcorn. Oh, candied apples. That's not bad for 3.50 for a nice looking candied apple. And then some chocolate fruit, dip bananas, strawberries, your usual stuff. Oh, and then we're back to hats. And if you're really cold, you can buy one of these big cozy snood things, whatever they're called. What are they called, Space? Uzi, is that the... No, but you know what we're on about. Is it Uzi's or Udi's? Udi's, I think Udi's. Udi's. Yeah, but they're about Udi's. 80 quid, I think. <laughs> yeah. And they're 25 euros. Will they wash well, though? That's the question. Yeah, boy, if you just want one, if you're a bit cold on the cruise at night. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, so this one's fresh grilled seafood. There you go, some prices there. Or a fried. Depends if you want to be healthy or unhealthy. They've also got the chimney cake stall. There you go, all different ones there. We've oh, got like another ornament kind of one. Got some different like animal mugs. Some little houses there. Oh, now this one's a bit of me. Cheese. Look at all that cheese. Stacey will walk past the old in the nose because she hates cheese. But look at that. There's a few more like repeated stalls here than there was at the Hamburg one. There's quite a few ones selling hats and scarves. So we're, uh, you know, not too fussed about the repeated stalls. I want food. I'm getting a bit hungry now. This one is selling, oh, like salamis and dried meats there. Oh, you can get like a little cone of salami sausages there. Okay, another little ornament one here. Some different Christmas bits or nesting dolls or chess boards. If you want some Christmas presents there. Ah, here's your waffles and crepes. So we will be getting waffles here, Stace. Stace, you might have a crepe. Oh my God, like three euros for a classic crepe. Can't moan at that. And then we got like another ornament stand. Once again, not badly priced. You know, like little Christmas bells there, one euro or four for 10. Same as these little tr wooden tree ornaments. And then finally, we've got another ornament, but this one's got like painted glass. I don't know if they're for like, uh, what are them little candles, Stace? You know, you put a little tea light in them just to get like a light. Oh yeah, because them little ones up there have got tea lights in them there. And then they've got these little, like, are they oil diffusers? Little houses here, so like the smoke comes out as a chimney. Just been told that they aren't oil diffusers, it's these little, like, little pointy things that you, you light and they just slowly burn out. 
I've just been told by the lady that one is a aphrodisiac smell, so we'll... Can you be a normal? It's not working. Damn! Eight euros. I mean, come on. Massive sausage, French dick, mustard ketchup mayonnaise, and cooked onions. You can't, you can't beat that for eight euros. Let's dig it. That is a tasty sausage. It's very herby. Nice on the crunchy bread. Cut it on with a little bit more mustard for me. But I wasn't sure how strong the mustard was. So if you like a strong mustard, ask for extra mustard. But for eight euros, delicious. I didn't quite fancy a hot dog. Uh, so I'm gonna have a look around the stalls and then I'm gonna pick Go have a look what there is and pick something else. Oh I know no. I definitely want a crepe. Oh no, more for me. Right, so I've settled on a Belgian burger. Well, it's not te technically a Belgian burger, but it's the first time I can say that I've tried a beef burger from a Belgian market. So here goes. It's really nice, actually. It's on like a crusty roll. I noticed the cheese wasn't really melty though. No, you kind of put like a ready-made slice on and it needs melting a little bit, but it's not like a strong cheese because I hate like strong cheeses, but it's okay. It's not like a Belgian waffle or... Oh, I did have some potatoes though. I wanted some Belgian fries, but I settled on some like potato wedgies because the thing about the Belgian fries is it's supposed to be cooked in like a beef tallow, so they are. Oh, can you taste the beefiness? Yeah. So I'm guessing that's what the fries would have tasted like, but it's a potato wedge instead. But I've got sauce all over my fingers. We're at an amazing Christmas market in Belgium, eating delicious potatoes wedges, and they're playing Love Shack in the background, not Christmas music. I love it. So we're back at the Simon Market, so there's the waffle stall. I'll be hitting that up in a minute. It's a lot busier than it was earlier. Oh, look at this dog. I love dogs. Right. So we've got churros and looks like a, a chocolate drink. Then a watch stall for some Christmas gifts. Another hat stall. There's a lot of hat stalls at these markets. You've got like another little jewelry stall with some other little knickknacks on it. Oh, this one does pizzas. Oh, look, fresh made pizzas in a little pizza oven down there. Oh, oh you can buy and buy a slice as well if you didn't want a whole one. Right, and then there's uh, this is your like your bar. This is the one where if you want the Bruges Christmas mug, come to this place because that's the only one that we've seen in both markets. You've got this glass stall that makes jewelry and all little ornaments there. We've got a gem store. All your crystals there. Oh, then a cheese stall. All different cheeses there. Oh, oh! Give me some bread. Give me some bread. Got a looks like you brew your own beer there. This one. Oh, Slovaki. Oh, so you got like your kebabs and chips there. Ooh, and then another little bar there. So if you want warming up on a cold winter's day, get yourself a drink. And then just at the top again, this is your burger one. So it's just burgers there. Pretty straightforward, they've got bratwurst as well, so you can have a burger or a bratwurst. Thank you very much. Enjoy, have a nice day. And you, thanks a lot. Thank you. So when in Belgium and all that, what have you gone for? A waffle. I always said I was going for a waffle. Uh, this is a Christmas, well they called it a Christmas special. It looks, it's chocolate, loads of whipped cream, Christmas sprinkles, and a tiny little chocolate candy cane that's now covered in cream. Can I have that one? Can no. I have that bit? I'll get your own, sorry. <laughs> and this was six euros. It's not too bad, because it's quite big and it's fresh. Yeah, get a waffle when you're in Belgium. That's delicious. It's like a bit gooey inside. It's not like the crap crap ones what you get like from Asda or our own bargains that are in a pack of three or four. I don't like them ones that's why I was like mm, no. I'll probably have a little bite just to see if it's nice and yeah these ones fresh. Are, are delicious so make sure because they warm them up get them but the cream's all melting so I'm gonna have to 
eat it really quick. What do you want a bite, Stace? Yeah. So we really wanted one of the souvenir cups because in we got one from the Hamburg Christmas market, but they did hot chocolate in theirs, and I don't think they did eat there. So, like say, I don't drink because I really hate the taste of alcohol, but I've had to go for one with mulled wine. So that's going to be interesting because I hate red wine. So I'm gonna have a little taste. It smells nice. Oh. Taste of Christmas. More like vinegar. When in Belgium, you gotta go get some Belgian chocolate as well. Stacey's been pecking me head for some chocolate, so we're gonna come and have a look. Oh, so you can like get out your own different types of chocolate if you wanna make your own cakes or you like a certain type of chocolate, right? So you've got, here's some Christmassy kind of gifts. There you go, so these $14.95. That's not too bad. There's a few chocolates in there. They've got bigger ones. Oh, the bigger ones. Do you want to taste this chocolate? Oh. This is dark chocolate with uh, praline. Oh, thank you. All right, thank Ooh. you. Thank you. Let's have a little taste. So she's not a massive praline fan, but she's had it because it's chocolate anyway. Oh, I'm not much for that. It's not that it's not nice, like say, I don't Stacey, like praline. Stacey's never liked praline. They've got these like little, um, oh, what are they called? Baubles. Baubles, like Christmas. Baubles there. I think they're hollow because they're quite light, but they're nice little gift for somebody, aren't they? So like, there's loads of like these chocolate shops uh, dotted about. I think this one isn't too badly priced compared to some of them. So while we're here, we might as well get a few as gifts. And a few for us. Oh, definitely <laughs> a few for us. Definitely, that's the most important thing. Stuff the guests, the gifts. I think you can get like five bars for 18 euros. So it's not bad for some like nice Belgian chocolate. And they're like personalised, so some of them have got like Merry Christmas and that on. We aren't bothered what they say on it, are we? They We're don't. always care. We don't read them, we just eat them. <laughs> They've got these like chocolate tools as well, so it's like nuts and bolts and spanners and wrenches and paint brushes. Oh yeah, like a shoe horse. Yeah. Well, a shoe horse, <laughs> not a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. So if you've got somebody who likes the tinker or a mechanic, they're good gifts. And if you're not much for chocolate, they've got some fudge and also nugget and marzipan. I do quite like marzipan. I'd probably eat that in one go, to be honest with you. It's probably like daily calorie intake in that alone. Oh, and then if you wanted to make your own little box or little tin house, you can. But the thing is, are these the tasters? Or no? What do you reckon? I think they're the free samples, Kev. Oh. We are back in the Christmas shop now, and somebody is buying bits. I haven't gone too crazy, just not brought like a six foot tree to take home or something, just a few little bits. Right, so we're all finished up now in Bruges. We've got a few bits and gifts. And some in this bag as <laughs> and well. Some in that bag as well. But absolutely, Bruges is absolutely beautiful. And the Christmas market has been amazing. Not as big as the Hamburg one. If, if I had a choice, I'd put the Hamburg market in Bruges. Yeah. I really <laughs> like Bruges. I'd like to come yeah, back to Bruges. Yeah, I would love to come back. Yeah, maybe in like the summer or something. Yeah, and like, it's really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. It's a really nice, is it a town or a city? Whatever it is, it's, it's really nice. I mean, but the markets are worth coming to. They're just not yeah. as big. And a lot of it, with Hamburg, it wasn't very, Samey, samey, like, but it, it, is a, it is a little bit more here. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. very re repetitive in all the stalls in each market. Whereas here, like, there's yeah. two woolly hat stalls in each one. I was going to say, I feel like I've seen a lot of hats and gloves yes. and scarves. <laughs> yeah. But no, there is some, like, mm. saying we've got some nice gifts. The, the Christmas pop-up shop is really good yeah. in there. But just had an amazing time. Like, we, we've never done the European Christmas markets before. Nope. And you know, this is the second one we've done now. And it, yeah, it's just been amazing. Like you say, I think we'll come back to Bruges probably yes. sometime in the summer. I don't know if it'll be next summer, but we will at some point. Who knows? Yeah, pass no, through. But really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, we got to go back a bit earlier than we'd like to go and get the coach because yeah. we bumped into a few people who say they've had to wait a while to get the coach here, which we didn't have to. Plus, we, we had longer at the day in Hamburg, whereas yeah. today is a, a shorter day. Yes, yeah, so we don't want to be waiting an hour and a half like some people have for the boat the bus back to the 
ship. <laughs> I can't get my words out. I've still got You might be watching this and, you know, you've not come on a ship. You've just come exactly. for the weekend. Yeah, so make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel because there will be lots of virtuous content to come out. Yeah, and we've got another destination to go to after this yet, so yes. stay tuned for that. Yeah, so leave us a comment. Have you come to Bruges? Did you like it? Did you love the city as much as we did? Yeah. And uh, while you're at it, give us a like, give us a subscribe, as always. And let us know what Christmas markets are you doing this Christmas? Are you doing the ones near to where you live? Are you travelling? Are you travelling abroad for any? Just yeah. let us know. Like if you're from the UK, you're doing the Manchester, the Birmingham ones. Let yeah, us know. Yeah. yeah, let us know how they are. If they're any, any American good. ones or anywhere, just yeah. let us know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.